I think the bad. I feel like a two year old could read the bad thing stuff. is the romance. Yeah, I ha- like even you must have seen how like bad that romance is. The romance. Well, so aside from the fact it was very creepy because she knew him when he was ten. <laughs> no, but, but like he, okay, so Anakin actually, himself is so Anakin creepy. looks like a cre- he, he looks like a sex pervert. But like the way he looks at her is like, don't look at me like that, and he continues to look at yes, her. Like, I know you're the girl. Yeah, I, I know. Dr- you're the girl I saw in my dreams. <laughs> yeah, so very creepy. But here's the thing: I can't really knock it for that. It drew an emotion, right? If that's what he was going for. No, there is no way that he was, that's okay, what he was going okay. for. If that's he was going, what he was going for a for. genuine romantic relationship. Oh, well, relationship. he's an idiot then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why people don't like this movie. That's the sticking point. This is the Jar Jar of the movie. Ironically, because Jar Jar's in this movie. See, but <laughs> it makes sense, though, that he was going for the creepy aspect because, I mean, we know who he's eventually going to become. Like, you see that dark side in him. So when I actually saw it, so I know... At first, I hated Hayden Christensen's acting. It was terrible. I was he like, throws so many temper tantrums. He's overly critical. He never listens. He, he doesn't understand. It's not fair. It's all Obi-Wan's fault. He's jealous. He's holding me back. I know, yeah. I, but like just his acting in general is very plain, but he was consistent with it. And so for that, by the end of it, I actually liked it. I don't think he was, was consistent. A twist. I think he was all over the place as far as his betrayal. Well, meaning like I, I certainly felt not in like a super deep level, like a really good movie would do, but um, I felt a little bit of that uh, battle inside of him, that kind of light and darkness a little bit. Like well, it came out from time to time when my, he was having a temper. Sure. And then, but the romance was totally like creepy stuff. Like the scene where he's like, like we're jumping all over the place. Who fucking cares? At yeah. This point? I don't care. <laughs> like the scene where like like the moment where he's like, I slaughtered them. I killed them all. Yeah. That. Well, actually, I was gonna say yeah, that's the part I like. Everything. Well, it's fucked up and awful. But beforehand, he's like whining. It's like it's all Obi Wan's fault. And then he goes in that speech. I'm like, oh. But then Padme's reaction is like, you know, everyone gets angry. Every single one of them, and not just the men, but the women and the children too. They're like animals, and I slaughtered them like animals. To be angry is to be human. It's like that's not how you respond to that. <laughs> you say we're gonna we're gonna set you down. We're gonna get a psychologist, and we're gonna no. If you're I wrote this, that if you needs a therapist. No, this is, if you are dating someone and they say to you, "I slaughtered a bunch of women and children," leave. Red flag. Red flag. Red flag. Leave. <laughs> I, Don't marry them at the end of the movie. <laughs> but then we wouldn't have Luke. God. I, see, that's that's the that right there is the one thing where it's like, okay, like this is what it all has to lead up to. We know where it's going. Can it be done better though, as I, opposed to creepy and weird? <laughs> um, it feels like I I wrote it down where it's like, Anakin is just like emotionally like. So immature, well, like about yeah. like so much. He like blamed, everything. He blames Obi Wan. He's overly arrogant. He's yeah. whiny. Yeah. Uh, he's angry all the time. Like that's what I mean by his but, character like, being consistent. Like but he's also so like, all over the place. It almost like he also doesn't understand love. Almost where it's like yeah, he seems, there's like a few lines that make me think like it's like where he's like all what you just said, but then like he's like. Basically, like he's poetic. He's he's like, so, that's why I think George Lucas has made uh, inspiration for this, for this, for the romance is Romeo and Juliet, because Romeo and Juliet is like they're just horny teenagers. People go, yeah. on, it's the greatest romance story. They're just horny teenagers, <laughs> and he tried to do that, but didn't understand how that worked. So it comes off like someone who doesn't understand. Like it sounds like he's never had a girlfriend. <laughs> Or any type of partner ever. Like, it's just like, that's not, people don't react like this. Hmm.